Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot and I'm here with a pick up our reading which is your current love vibe so we're going to look into that so don't forget if you want to win a free reading subscribe to my channel, like and leave a comment of the word soul down below and then you can get entered and I'll announce the winners next week thank you so much for your support so we just got three piles, so pile one, pile two and pile three so pick your pile and we'll get started Hello Pile 1, so this is my Romantic Mermaid Oracle. So we've got Getting Over, over Love, Time with Friends. Healing Your Heart. Be Authentic. You Are a Shining Star. Differences Attract. Intense Attraction. Spend Time Getting to Know Each Other. So I feel that you're getting over somebody right now and you're spending time alone healing, working on your healing here and you're coming into the energy of being authentic and you're knowing your worth with that shining star and you're going to attract somebody in who seems very different to you. There's an intense attraction and you're going to spend time getting to know each other. So if you're not with anybody, there's somebody coming in. So let's just clarify these with the tarot. So get to know for somebody. What's this about here? And this is my dad, Madam Elise Tarot. So we've got eight of wands. So I feel there's going to be communication coming in for you soon. And we've got Queen of Wands energy. So this could be your energy. You could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you're in that energy. You're attracting a lot of attention. You're passionate. You know, there's a lot of people see your value, see your wealth. And you're coming into that authenticity, the Queen of Cups. So I feel this is you being in touch with your feelings. You could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but you're really in touch with your feelings. And you are a shining star. You've done that work on yourself. You've got two of coins. So, you know, you've been balancing out um, the negative thoughts with the positive thoughts. You know, trying to feel better about yourself. You know, working on that, your self-image. Why is the two of coins and knight of swords? So this could be the person coming towards you. We've got an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be younger than you. Somebody who's going to come in quickly with some truth, wanting to share their truth. They, you know, maybe they've been watching you online. They could seem very different to you. We've got three of cups. So this person's going to want to go out with you and celebrate and, and take you out. And there is an intense attraction between you. We've got Knight of Coins, so there could be a Knight of Swords, Air Sign of said, or Knight of Coins. Knight of Coins is Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's the slow moving energy. I mean, the Knight of Swords could be more fickle, like in and out energy, but the Knight of Coins is more solid. There could be two people because it come up with the Two of Coins. So there could be two people competing for you because you are attracting a lot of attention. But the Knight of Coins is slow moving energy. But when they come forward, it's solid energy. It's a solid offer. And these people want to get time getting to know you. We've got Page of Wands. Yes, there's a lot of passion here, okay? You're attracting a lot of attention because you're very, you know, attractive, very sexy, very sensual. These people I want to spend time with you. What else can you tell us? You got star that yeah you you've got star quality you know maybe you're on social media you're well known on social media you you attract a lot of attention you're in your element you're shining brightly you've done that work on yourself and you're really shining out there wow and we've got the king of cups so somebody's coming towards you water sign energy here as well so there could be many options um but mature energy the king of cups is mature he's in touch with his feelings this is somebody that's going to want to express their feelings to you we've got nine of cups so you are a wish fulfillment for somebody here and we've got three of wands which is talking about that divine timing coming in wow and we've got the lover's energy so this you know i keep picking up soulmate energy uh, it's definitely soulmate energy coming in for you here but we've got temperance so it's about coming into balance. There's somebody here, you may have a choice, but one particular person you're going to come into balance with. So let's get some final guidance. Final guidance for pile one. 
final guidance for part one. Wow, happiness. Look at that, two dolphins and the sun. There's joy and happiness coming in. What more can I say? And openness. You're going to be very open with each other. Be able to share and lots of pleasure. You're going to share lots of pleasure with this person. So what a beautiful reading. So I'm going to leave it there, part one. Love and blessings. Hello, part two. So we're looking at your current love vibes. So this is my deck, Romantic Mermaid Oracle. So what do you want in love? Healing, inner work. Sudden changes. Flood of a storm. Magnetic attraction. Deep soul connection. An engagement. And a wedding. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm not saying that's going to happen in the next few weeks, but um, yeah. Wow. It looks like you're going to decide exactly what you want. What do you want from love? You're going to make the decision. And you're doing that healing on yourself, that inner work, healing past hurts. And when you do this, the sudden change is coming in. There's a flirtatious energy around you and a magnetic attraction to somebody. And you're going to feel this deep soul connection. And it's going to lead to this commitment here. Um, and it does look like it could be quite a whirlwind. Okay, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be in the next month um, that this wedding happens. But this person is definitely serious about you. Okay, this is somebody that's serious about you. So, what do you want in love? What's that talking about? We've got Knight of Wands energy. So maybe you, I mean, that sometimes is the player energy. Maybe you were dealing with players in the past. You know, people that were in and out, flighty. They were not serious. It was just passionate flings or something like that. And you're doing the healing on yourself because you want your emperor and you're balancing out your feminine and masculine energies within you to attract this in. And there are sudden changes coming in, okay? So what are these sudden changes coming in? These sudden changes coming in. We've got Ace of Swords. So there's going to be truth and clarity coming in or you're going to have that in your own energy you're going to see the truth and clarity of your situation and you're flirting up a storm but you're wanting that solid commitment you're wanting something grounded here and there's a magnetic attraction so who's that with who's the magnetic attraction with for pile two who's that magnetic attraction with for pile two Who's that magnetic attraction with? We've got judgment. So this is destined, I feel, this person. Okay? And we've got three of pentacles. They want to work with you. They want to collaborate with you. This is somebody serious here. We've got page of pentacles. There could be a message coming in. Okay, somebody's communicating. And we have that deep soul connection. We've got king of pentacles. So this could be who you're connecting with, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody solid, somebody grounded, somebody financially independent, who's stable, who's a committed person, who wants that solidness, you know, that stability in their life. And engagement, we've got temperance, so coming into balance and also talking about divine timing. You know, that judgment energy, it feels like destiny to me. And we've got the moon energy, yeah, so... Very much, you know, both of you have healed your shadow side. I feel you, you know, working with your shadow side and very much both of you balanced in your masculine and feminine energies. So what's Wedding Day talking about now? Wow. We've got the lover's energy. So this is soulmate. This is destiny. You know, you're when you meet this person, you're going to feel like you've known them before. We've got the magician energy. So I feel that you're, you know, both manifesting each other. You're both setting your intentions of what you want in your love life. And we've got the world energy. So a whole new cycle in your life beginning here. A beautiful new cycle. So beautiful energies.
So let's get some, I, I can't say any clearer than that. So let's just get some final guidance. There's a whole new cycle beginning anyway. A committed connection. I mean, not everybody believes in marriage, but there's definitely a commitment coming in here if that's what you're looking for. So let's get your final messages. We've got abundance coming in. So beautiful abundance in all areas of your life. We've got flow. So go with the flow. Trust. Don't try and control anything. And we've got courage. Yes, it takes courage sometimes to love again, doesn't it? After a heartbreak. Okay, but you're going to find that courage. So beautiful messages, part three, uh, part two. Send in your love and blessings. Hello, part three. So we're looking at your current love vibes. So this is my deck, Romantic Mermaid Oracle. So we've got time out, me time. Truth and clarity. Trust yourself. Positive vibes. Unexpected message. Mermaid, angel of love. Coffee date. Expressions of love. Just you and me, babe. This is the love of a lifetime. And dream lover, wow. Beautiful energies. So there's a lot of romance coming in for people. Definitely a lot of romance. Coming in. So we've got time out, me time. So I feel that you've had a break from maybe dating or going out with anybody. Maybe I don't know how long, be different for everybody. But you haven't dated for a while. And we've got truth and clarity. So by spending time alone, you're seeing things clearly, what it is you're truly wanting. And you're beginning to trust yourself, follow your own guidance, your own intuition. And you're getting into a much pos more positive vibration. Maybe you're feeling a bit down, a bit negative about dating. And there's going to be a message coming in unexpectedly, okay? This could be a new person, you could be on dating apps, or maybe somebody from the past. And we've got the mermaid angel of love. So your guys and angels are around you. And somebody's going to ask you out on a coffee date. And we've got expressions of love here. So there is a feeling, you know, there's feelings between you. And this person is ex is expressive to you. And you're going to feel this is a love of a lifetime. This is a dream lover. This is somebody that you've wanted to manifest. So why is time out, me time there? Yeah, we've got three of swords. So you, you were you were going through a heartbreak. You had a you know break up with somebody, a disappointment in love, and you needed that time out. And you you're getting the clarity. We've got five of cups. You had a disappointment, feeling sad, needing to heal your heart over that, and you're following your intuition. Yeah, four of pentacles. Um, there was a lack of give and take. I feel in that situation. Okay, there wasn't. It wasn't mutual. And you're coming into positive vibes here. And we've got eight of wands. So there's communication coming in, messaging coming in. We said that unexpected message coming in here. What's that about? Unexpected message. We've got the high process. So trust in your intuition. Okay, this could be somebody that you really, you know, pick up a good vibe. You're trusting in your intuition over this. You're following your intuition. Who's this message from? Wow. <laughs> you can't make it out. This is your divine masculine, okay? Whatever you resonate as, this is a divine masculine energy. Your emperor energy coming in, your counterpart energy. And I feel this is guided by the angels. Well, we've got Ace of Swords. So you're you're going to know, you know, you're going to really feel this connection, as I said. And they're going to ask you out for a coffee. We've got King of Cups. This is somebody that's really in touch with their feelings. Okay, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries, fire sign. Um, but they're express, expressive. We've got the chariot. It's going to move forward. You know, it's going to move forward quickly, I feel. And this person is wanting to commit with this, this hierophant energy, stability, wanting to commit. And you both feel this is a love of a lifetime. Yeah, there's going to be flirty 
loving messages with the page of cards between you you're really gonna have that band to with each other and it's gonna feel like your your dream lover here who is this dream lover anything else about this dream lover Yeah, we've got Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely a brand new beginning. There's an offer here for something new to start. And Ace of Wands, very passionate, very much desire here. And justice coming in, you know, justice coming in here. So beautiful energies. Um, there's no more I can say about that, really. So <laughs> beautiful energies. So let's get some final guidance for you. Final guidance for pile three. Final guidance for pile three. You've got your justice coming in with your dream lover. So what more can I say? Beautiful. So what guidance have you got for pile three? We've got voyage. So this is a voyage of self-discovery. I feel that you are soul connections with those wow energies. I do feel maybe you're live a in different parts of the world maybe there's a stretch of ocean between you but there's a voyage maybe somebody needs to travel towards you or you're going to travel together okay and we've got gateway so this is a new beginning this is a new cycle in your life okay with lots of luck with those unicorn energy there and we've got purification we've got the sun coming out that reminds me of the sun card, you know, sun, happiness, joy, new beginnings and happiness coming in. Wow, happiness again with the two dolphins, soulmate energy, I feel, with that sun card, with the sun in the sky. Lots of fresh, beautiful, loving energy, happiness coming in for you. So I'm going to leave it there, part three. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you next time. Many blessings.